Good day, everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Star Trek Online. My name is Ubuglo, and with me once again is... Megalomaniac, and special guest... Rika! Hello! Good day! Uh, yeah, so... Sort of mentioning that last week that with, um... The way some of these cues are not necessarily popular, we're looking to some of uh, some of our friends to uh, to help fill in the ranks and uh, hopefully make these cues not quite so long. Um, mm -hmm. Last week we did uh, Azure Nebula Rescue, which uh, is still actually a pretty fun mission. I do still like that one. Yeah. Um, we also did. We're still playing Crystal around with that. Catastrophe. Yeah. Yes, I'm playing with the Sonic Screwdriver. Yeah, we, then we did Crystal Catastrophe and Borg Disconnected, um, yes. all of which are, uh, I think they're pretty nice missions. They're they're good. They are some of the more active ones. Yes, um, there are definitely some interesting ones that are further on uh, that we'll be getting to. But because they're more involved, they're a little bit less popular. So mm -hmm. this week we're gonna. Yeah, this week we're going to try and get into the original um, uh, Special Task Force missions. Um, yeah, space ones, specifically. The, the space ones, yeah. Anyway, so we'll cue... Who, want, who gives a shit about ground no, combat? I'm not no, you didn't want, no, you did not want to do that one. I'm not queuing for that one yet. We're going to queue yeah, no for one this that one. one. That's we're going to queue for this one. And we're going to queue for this one. And we'll get into whichever one pops first. Even though these actually do have a technical order, but whatever. Yeah. Heck of story. At least we're not doing the old style, which had both ground and space combat. Oh my god. And the worst, not only did they ha not only were they space and ground, and some of them actually were multiples. Like, I, I think the original Cure was a space mission, a ground mission, and then another space mission. Then our space uh, mission? Yeah, it was... It was long... Okay, so we're gonna start with Kittimer Vortex. So we're starting with the second one. Uh, well, the, the second one in the order, but Kittimer Vortex, I believe. No, no, was... Kittimer, no, Kittimer Vortex, is the third one, isn't it? Yeah, it was. It was the last one. Yeah. Um, this one is actually an interesting mission. Um, so I'll talk about the strategy a little bit once we load in. So the way this mission works, and actually it's kind of interesting to do this one first because it builds off of a earlier mission. Um, it just actually builds off of uh, Infected. Um, ha, hilarity at this person's ship. Alright, so the Borg are trying to make use of their, well basically their temporal abilities to go back in time and mess things up again. And we're going to stop them. By killing them in the face. That's right. So the first thing we need to do is... Uh, blow up once, this cube. Yeah, once we blow up this cube, then the actual mission begins for real. So the way this mission operates... Okay, so now we need... That activates the, t the transwarp conduits. So now... Uh, okay, so... I'm going to go over to the... Yeah, I'm going to go over to the right hand. Yeah, if, uh, you guys work on the, uh, the left-hand side one. Um, and I will okay. make sh I will check check to see if this guy over here is able to handle them by himself. If he is, then I'll come over and join you. So the way this works is you need to the team needs to destroy the Borg probes as they come out of the transwarp conduits, uh, while destroying these nanite generators and nanite transformers, which are actually uh, uh, basically healing the transwarp gateways. Um, but to destroy those, you have to destroy the nanite generators, which are healing. Which are healing. That's right. Uh, really, the best way to go about this is to have one person on uh, one side who is able to basically destroy all the probes as they spawn, and maybe destroy uh, or start damaging the nanite generators or transformers as they uh, uh, when they have an opportunity. I used to be able to do this all by myself. Like, this is actually not that difficult. Um, the problem is that when you're doing this in pugs, they tend to not necessarily follow the strategy. So, but the, no the thing is, yeah. 
So the failure condition, if you're doing it on uh, normal, is uh, you can't let more than ten probes get through the uh, get through the uh, the time vortex. Um, in addition, as you destroy the nanite transformers. Uh, the uh, waves of Borg ships uh, start becoming more plentiful. The, in fact, they also uh, come on different times as well, um, because each, basically each transformer that's destroyed adds another wave of Borg ships. Um, and the no and annoying thing as well, if you have auto fire, is that the gateway will also the gateway shoots and has a threat table, so it can sometimes start mm. plinking at you kind of annoyingly. Oh, yeah. So I kind of slightly messed up here because a, a good strategy is to weaken both transformers on one side. And yeah, then and then destroy them. them up. Then destroy them together. But, yeah, we, uh, we I messed, kind of screwed that one up. Yeah, we messed that up over on this side as well. That that's okay. It looks like it, sh it looks like this we should team be able to is. This. Yeah, this this team as as a whole is uh, more than uh, powerful enough to be able to. Uh, destroy this in time. Uh, the optional is to do it all in a specific timeline, which is fairly normal for normal uh, yeah. normal Q missions. I thought there used to be an optional to just not let the gate get used at all. Uh, I guess they removed that. Well, th th it is in here, it's par but it's part of the time. It's a, you, oh, okay. need, you need to basically complete oh, yeah, the mission. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You need to complete but, the mission yeah. in 15 minutes yeah. and let no board through the gateway. Um, but yeah, this basically the mechanic of this mission is taking the mechanic of another uh, STF and expanding on it because this thing with the uh, transwarp gateways is literally what uh, happens in another mission. Mm -hmm. um, it's just that it is, it is actually modified here because the uh, the gateway uh, and the, the nanite transformers all have uh, less health. Uh, than they do in that other mission because, well, here you have two of them and the same time limit. Okay, so, looks like the guy over here has been doing pretty good on these Transformers. Enrique and the person in the Normandy, who is not me, uh, <laughs> seem to be doing pretty good taking out the probes, so I'm just wailing on the Transformer now. Excellent. Okay, and the other transformer here is almost destroyed, so we should be able to start working on the gateway in just a moment. And that's the second transformer, so now it's time for the gateway. Yeah, and our transformer here is destroyed. Also, when uh, one gateway gets destroyed, the other gateway starts getting um, yeah, of course, really you massive. Standard, you know, assimilate, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, uh, once one gateway is destroyed, the other gateway starts spawning uh, really huge waves. So you need to... Basically, that is what Beamfire Will is for. Yeah, Beamfire Will is very effective at that, but that's also why you should uh, be more cautious about when you destroy the Transformers and yeah. gateways, so that uh, the one side... For, so, like, for example, if you're doing this strategy where you have one ship on one side that's just clearing the the, um, the waves as they go, come through, you want to make sure that as you're just about ready to destroy the gateway on the other side, you start sending ships over so that that guy doesn't get overwhelmed and you uh, you get some Borg ships going through the uh, the vortex. Mm -hmm. All right, it's so over about here. To explode. All right, ours is uh, about forty percent. Uh, eleven percent. Five percent. Ten percent over dead. here. And this side is. Oh, we didn't destroy it fast enough to uh, stop this super wave. All right. Okay. So, so oh. we just got to clear. That's up. okay. That's it's fun to see. What happened? Oh, it's fun to see the the super wave. Oh yeah, yeah. So it's just a bunch of like a bunch of spheres and some probes. And wow, this is a lot easier. 
Either, either like. Well, it's because you're level sixty and have much higher gear. Yeah, well, than to, used to. to be honest, though, we scale down to fifty. But yeah, the uh, Mark Thirteen gear is probably uh, help it, not helping that matter. And now randomly we have to find a scimitar. Yeah, uh, this is oddly enough. Um, this is actually a canon person. I just. Yeah, she was in Star Trek Nemesis, and I don't know why it's like, oh, now she's a war, because I, I don't know if and I missed it in it's, somewhere it's else. Countdown. In Countdown, she's going to get the Borg tech to Narada. Oh, okay. Yeah, but is that how she got assimilated? I assume so. Okay. I don't know. Uh, yeah, because I, I... Like, I read that comic, I just don't remember her being assimilated I assume that she was the victim of uh, the experiments with the... Oh, God, not that. Abort! Uh, that is why we... This is why we have uh, evasive maneuvers. Yep. Yep. I mean, we've, we've fought scimitars before. Yeah, the only thing is, uh, you know, because it's a Borg-modified scimitar, it's... Well, it's a boss character, really. All, it does, it's though, stupidly have... Stupidly high amounts of hit points. Yeah. It does, though, have that issue where... Um, so, the... The, um... Going to stealth is basically... It's actually basically a proximity thing. Uh, if ships start getting too close, uh, it will... It uh, goes into, um... It goes into the stealth. Uh, however, the... Uh, going into stealth and then popping out and firing the uh, Thaleron cannon is only... Uh, is that is actually on a cooldown, so hmm. you can actually still um, basically cheese the mechanic by getting uh, by getting close a lot, uh, and you can play around with the uh, the cooldown timer that way. But generally speaking, once the cooldown hits, it uh, the, uh, it will try to go stealth and use the Thaleron cannon as soon as possible. But yeah, if you just get ships sitting on top of it, it will go into stealth uh, and then run a, run away and then pop back out. Also, thankfully, once you reach this phase, you're no longer on a timer, so it yeah, you can take million hit points isn't really detriment. Yeah, you can take as long as you want to complete this uh, part of it. And there we go. We just exploded it. Yay. And for our trouble, we got a bunch of bunch of Omega Marks. And Yay. of course, he escapes to the Vortex. Da -da -da -dum. Oh no. We'll probably never see never see him again. Yeah, I don't know. They're not really doing anything with the Borg, so. Yeah. Right. Oh, right. Also, okay, leave us the FF to regroup. Reform the team. Yeah, we learned that the hard way last week. <laughs> but no, um, the thing about the Natra and the Roman Empire is that when they fell apart in SEO, you get the impression that they mm -hmm. super fell apart. Yeah. I just, yeah. like, I knew they fell apart. I knew she was in, like, she gave the Narada from the 2009 movie, like, it's super tech as to explain why a mining ship could, you know, wreck everything. But I just don't remember, like, anything being where... Now she's assimilated. I was, I was wondering if it was just some kind of uh, kind of like web fiction for the game or something. It could be. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of want to chase down more of the Star Trek Online books to see what they see what they say. Yeah, they do because I know like magazines and stuff do fiction for the game. Yeah, the um, the uh, the official Star Trek uh, magazine has actually had a few uh, quite a few short stories. Um, mm -hmm. Set in the STO soft canon. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't read any of them, but I have seen them advertised on Cryptic site. Yeah, because I've read uh, the Needs of the Many, which is the only book I've read. Mm. Oh, hey, this I... mission. Yeah, so yeah, so so everything we just did that we said we got built upon in another mission. This is the mission this, we got built this upon. Is the so mission basically, right here. just doing what we did last time, but only on one side or yep. one gate. 
yelling idiot drive from that one. Do -do -do. Alright, so uh, the main story of uh, this one, uh, trying to remember, okay, so the main story the entire of, star base has disappeared. Yeah, no, no, that's that's cure. Uh, infected is the one where um, oh, now I'm trying to remember because it's. Uh, I thought this one was where the star base disappeared. No, because cure cure has the sec. Its ground phase is the one where you are on the uh, the star base. Okay. Uh, this one, is, this one, there is a uh, a research station on the planet, and you are if your first step is to, well, here uh, stop the Borg mm -hmm. fleet that's in orbit around it, and have created this, um, this transwarp gateway. Oh uh, god this... damn it! Oh, did you? Oh, did you guys? I've, I've actually hit the generator, but right, I'm actually I'm veering off to the nanite stuff. Okay. So the thing about this yeah, one... Yeah, so here's the thing. is Once you destroy one of the generators around the Transformer, in this one, Nanite Probes show up, which can heal uh, heal everything. So you've got to basically burn everything down really quick before they well, heal. Well, I'm trying to do. Optional. Yeah. Or, yes. or make sure now, you destroy... Now, the real trick to it is go over there, hit them in gravity well, go back to blowing up a thing and ignore them. Yeah, I don't have uh, gravity okay, well, I would... Yeah, I know. That's why I like going into this mission, especially advanced, where this ceases to be optional. Yep, too um, late. It didn't help that yeah. one of the, uh... That there was two people on the other side. Oh, well. It's just the, it's just the optional. No, not a big deal. Yeah, I, yeah, I know. That's why we're not doing advanced on these. Um, and this means that since I don't have to chase them down, I can just both and help you guys over here. Yeah, this is a mission where if you want to even even ignoring the optional because the optional is just telling you a uh, an effective strategy because once any of these nanite spheres or probes start repairing the uh, the transformer, like they basically full heal it in a second. Mm -hmm. So you don't want to let them touch the uh, you don't want to let them get into uh, range at all. So nope. you definitely need to focus on one side at a time. Like, the entire team needs to work on one side and then the other. You actually don't really gain anything by splitting your team up. Yeah, usually when, um, when I was writing this with a fleet that ran SCFs, we usually had three people on one side, two people basically mining the center and shooting things now. That, yeah, that's not a bad yeah, strategy. Yeah, that's, that's fine. That like said, no usually when I, if I do this on advanced, I basically would be sure to bring a ship with gravity well. Yeah, that that helps a significant amount because uh, being able to keep the uh, the nanite probes and spheres uh, in place uh, gives you m a lot more time to work on uh, burning the transformer. A little bit of crazy lag tonight. I am too. Yep. All right, so it's probably just all the Delta recruit stuff. Okay, first transformers down. Next, we go repeat the thing on the other side. Yeah. Well, next we kill all the other. Yeah, it's it's a good idea to at least clean up. Um, if there are any uh, nanite spheres or nanite probes left spawned uh, af after you destroy one of the transformers, uh, they will. They, they don't despawn, they will just stick around, but uh, they kind of become a weird thing where they're like a hybrid, like they, they will start attacking you, but they also will stick around and try and uh, fly to the other side and start healing it if, if uh, it starts taking damage. But like because of you know all the enemies, you probably should at least destroy everything anyway so that you've, uh, you don't have quite as much things shooting at you. Especially if you're trying to do this on a higher difficulty level. Like, infected is not that difficult, but it's, you need to coordinate. You do. You need to coordinate a fair amount. Not as much as cure, though. Cure is actually has a fair amount of coordination, especially if you're doing it on higher difficulty levels. 
But Cure is also a very straightforward mission. It's just because of the way uh, its mechanics work. You can't just let people go all willy-nilly on it or else you, you'll get um, swarmed pretty fast. But that's, mm -hmm. that's our next mission. We'll be seeing that soon enough. Okay, so... Okay, those guys are working on the uh, yeah, nanites, the, yeah. the generators over there, so we'll uh, get these guys down. Lag. <laughs> All right, there's the I don't nanite ropes. ropes. Uh, but yeah, the uh, the ground one of this one was actually... I remember the ground phase of uh, Infected being kind of interesting. It's just the mission as a whole is so long. And I, back when you... Back when the game first came out and the way these missions were... Okay. Uh, Second transform down, which means it's time to blow up the gateway. Yeah. And as the gateway starts taking damage, it should... I spawn in... The tactical cube. There it is. There it is. Move away. So we have from to the kill both the gateway. Yeah, we have to kill both both of them. Generally, you want to kill the gateway first because it doesn't move around. It doesn't move around. Uh, it doesn't deal a whole lot of damage, and it uh, has less HP. Really. Mm -hmm. uh, it, once you're in this phase, though, it doesn't spawn more crows. No. If you, this is it. Yeah, what, all you'll have at this point is the gateway and the tactical cube. So at least you don't need to worry too much about being overwhelmed. However, the the gateway and the tactical cube are still both kind of bruisers on their own. Yeah, when I used to do an escort in this, it was uh, it was actually dangerous to straight up attack the tactical or the uh, the gateway. Yeah. Yeah, I did that. That was a mistake. Well, anyway, once we start doing the ground missions, we'll see more of the uh, the story from uh, from this mission. I just mm -hmm. this uh, infected and cure were both missions that I liked doing. Uh, like repeatedly once they once cryptic moved to the Q system, just because they were relatively easy and straightforward missions that were actually fairly profitable. Yeah, basically the way to, if you if you want to grind out, um, why do I stop shooting this thing? Lagging. Um, yeah, that's true. Basically, if you like doing these three missions we're doing today are pretty much the most efficient way to do Omega Marks. Yep. Um, whereas uh, Azure Nebula Rescue and Crystalline Catastrophe, which we did last week, are basically the most efficient way to get Nukara Marks. Mm. Um, a lot of the, the reason a lot of these cues are dead is because uh, there are more efficient ways to get the marks they give. Yeah. So people don't really feel like doing them. Also, they change the they, they change the reward to be primarily uh, just the marks. Well, marks and dilithium. Mm -hmm. um, what used to happen was the the mission used to give used to give marks, used to give dilithium, but also even and even before it was a uh, a mark based system, it used to give um, uh, loot as well. And frequently like some pretty good loot. And also, um, this running those missions was the way you got the um, the original space sets because uh, you had to. It basically yeah. it, it, the um, the original Borg sets were a random chance to drop from the mission as a as a reward. Mm -hmm. Also, parties back up. Yep. Yeah. That's how I got. That's how I got my original Mega Six. I got before the rep. I grinded for the BMPs. Oh boy, was that fun! Yeah. Of course, now you do missions to grind for uh, materials. So. 
So now it's Q4. But yeah, like the Undyne ones and the Voth ones are dead because people just do the battle zones for those to get those marks. Yeah, so even when the even when the sphere stuff was was new, uh, Breach was not that popular. It, it was it was still commonly run, um, which yeah. which is good because like the Breach is an excellent mission. Oh yes, it's fun as hell. Yeah. Mm. Um, considering how few people I've seen run breach, though, we may need to just do a private uh, a private queue. But we'll see. Um, Burn that bridge when we come to it. Yeah, it, it is absolutely a great mission. All right. So yeah. So cure, which is the uh, uh, the. The Cure, I believe, is the second... It's the second one. It's the second of the original group of um, the Borg STFs. So the way this one works is that the IKS Kang has a um, cure to this new strand of Borg assimilation. But it's been disabled by these the, the, the Borg ships that are here. So we need to protect it while clearing the enemies. What will happen is that each one of these Borg cubes is controlling a... Basically, a Borg um, construction factory. factory. Yeah, yeah, ship factory. Uh, and they will uh, periodically spawn um, uh, basically assimilated Klingon vessels. Um, and then these cubes are protected by the same type of nanite, um, the nanite repair spheres that we saw in uh, Infected and Kittimer. Um, so you need to destroy these spheres, which are healing another sphere, which is healing the cube. Are you noticing a theme with the whole destroy a thing that's healing a thing? Yeah. Destroy the thing. Uh, and then, now the thing about this, and it's not that big of a deal on, uh, on advanced, but as you destroy each cube, the, uh, Klingon ships that are spawned at each, uh, of the, um, uh, the factories, uh, basically levels up. Uh, so like it's it basically starts with uh, building um, uh, birds of prey, then it goes to building uh, raptors, and then finally it, it goes to uh, their battle cruisers on the last mm-hmm. one. So the thing that you need to be wary of is that if you're doing this on uh, advanced, no, oh, like this one's super easy because we just destroyed the second one already. Um, if you were doing this on advanced, you actually don't want to destroy them one at a time. You actually do want to do what uh, we were trying to do in uh, Kittimer, where you weaken the cubes, you you destroy all the uh, the nanite spheres, then you weaken the cube down, and then you wait until you've got at least two of them weakened uh, a fair amount, and then you destroy the two of them together. Uh, and what that does... I destroyed all three already, man. Um, so that limits the number of... Um, yeah, we kind of just completely and utterly crushed this mission. Yeah. Um, so by destroying two of them at r- relatively uh, uh, close to each other, you limit the number of uh, reinforcements that spawn, um, and then s- try to swarm the uh, the, k- the Kang. Uh, and then once you finish uh, clearing out all the remaining Borg from destroying the three cubes, the uh, the boss of the mission, which is an assimilated carrier, shows up. Mm-hmm. Uh, it should be around. Yeah, Take your time. Here we go. Oh, and some spheres along the side. That's interesting. That, that didn't happen before. And yeah, this then here is basically just a turkey shoot. Uh, the assimilated carrier will occasionally spawn um, some fighters and some birds of prey. Uh, but I think it just did, and I think they kind of got wiped out. Yeah, and out. then they got destroyed. So, yes, that group kind of uh, trivialized uh, the cure entirely. Was the equivalent of an M- NFL team beating the crap out of a five-year-old? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, the That's thing about the cure is if you have a group that's, you know, like we were in... Well, to yeah. port, it's just going to be a uh, because yeah. I've noticed that a good way to do no, it the is annoying thing like about one that person circling the king. Yeah. Um, 
The only thing about that was it's the one escort mission in the game where you actually have to worry about the thing you're escorting. Yeah. Uh, <coughs> most other missions in, ST- in STO where you have to defend something, uh, you tend to not ever actually need to defend it per se. Uh, yeah. In this one, though, the Kang can be destroyed and you will fail the mission. They also recently uh, lowered its HP, so you yeah. have to pay attention. Yes. So if you're doing if you're doing that on advanced or higher, uh, you absolutely need to have at least one guy who is sticking around the Kang. Uh, the Kang is healable, uh, so you can uh, cast or can use uh, shield and hull heals on it. But mm. because it, as an NPC, it, it has in, it has more HP than a player. Um, player scaled heals actually tend to not be that effective on it. You're basically trying to staunch the bleeding, and it's not that effective. Yeah, frankly, what I used to do in advance was, like, two people, two each go to two different points, and then one just defends the carrier. Pretty. Or the, the Kang. Yeah. I think that's how it goes. Yeah. That's what we've done. It's been a while since it's advanced. Yeah, because, mm-hmm. again, if you're trying to do this on advanced, uh, the best thing to do is you want to try and burn down two of the cubes basically at the same time. Um, so you'll want to have either you'll you'll want to do either uh, one guy at the Kang, one guy at uh, one cube, and three guys at another cube. The three guys uh, burn down the um, the spheres quickly, and then one or two of them moves over to the next cube. Or you'll want to do mm-hmm. one, two, and two. Yeah. Um, we invite to the team. Oh yeah. Do you want to do another one? Yeah, th- I'm thinking we'll fairly quick. Yeah, I'm thinking we'll try and uh, uh, Q for Hive then. Just, oh, and just make, yay! And just make this mission. And just make this episode all the yeah. Uh, it's all board. All the STFs. Yay. Yeah. So the Hive, the Hive onslaught is one that need, uh, needed. A fairly significant amount of rebuild. So it, it once the uh, STFs moved to the Q system, it was removed um, and it didn't come back for a few years, really. Um, yeah, because mm-hmm. it needed to be basically entirely rebuilt. And not only did they entirely rebuild it, they basically changed the story uh, quite a lot as well. Um, so it now builds more off of. Uh, some of the stuff that happens later on in the game. So we'll see if we actually manage to get a, uh, a queue for this anytime soon. Um, I don't think they. I don't think they re-added a ground version of Hive. I think they just left it as space. There is another uh... old STF that. Uh, Actually, it didn't really get finished. It was one that no. Was... There was one called Into the Hives. So oh, is, okay, the... so that was probably the ground. Oh yeah, yeah, that was probably the ground one. Into the Hive. I tried that when they relaunched the SCF system. Uh, finally, and well, I was doing it by myself. That was a mistake. Ah, uh, yeah. Doing myself on a pug group. Don't just just at least talk to people and say, "Hey guys, we're doing this. Let's stay in the same area." Mm-hmm. I don't. Th- I don't know if I've ever done the uh, the hive ground. So when we finally get to that, that'll be an interesting experience. I think it was into the hive. It's been a few years since I tried it, so my memory might be a little fa- hazy on that. Yeah, the, in fact, actually, the one that I tend to do, if, if I, you know, the one the one uh, STF ground that I've tried to do most, I think is actually. Uh, uh, oh no, it's it's infected. Okay, yeah, um, yeah, infected is. I, I I was getting the ones reversed. I was forgetting the order. Um, mm. yeah, infected is the one where there's you lost contact with the starbase. So it's ground one is and then you are actually going onto the starbase itself and seeing what happened. The cure is um, you are on an. Uh, a planet which uh, uh, let's see if it says here 
it like got infected by Borg nanoprobe clouds. Yeah, and, basically. Like, uh, what was the, those, the the one story mission had that happened to, which kind of segued into these originally. Yeah, pretty much. There is some interesting mechanics in both of them. It just they were they were way too difficult. They were way too long, and when the game first came out, the only way you could get into any STF was you basically waited around the planet, uh, spamming mm-hmm. uh, the chat, looking for group. LFG, guys. Yeah, so basically, you know, like, anyone who's played MMOs, uh, you know, a long time ago would have seen how those those systems uh, used to work. The yeah, actual really old republic when it first started had that too. There was no queue. Yeah, yeah. Is, you know, that that was kind of unforgivable given it was made in like came out in like twenty twelve or something like that. Yeah, it was... Republic built also monetized to help. It is. It is. No, now. this is before that. This is this is when it was uh, subscription only. Ah, and like when it launched, it was basically wow two expansions back. Pretty oh, much, but yeah. like, like. Really, they should have had a queue system from day one because it existed after WoW had a queue system and it was aping all this other stuff from WoW, so why not have a queue system? Yeah, it's one of those things where, like, why wouldn't they have thought... Like, why wouldn't they have added that? You know, I I can understand, in a broad sense, wanting to... At least claiming to want to step back some of the things that, you know, some people have complained about you know the casualization of, of wow it's like okay whatever you think you can yeah you can make that argument I think you're silly but you know there are people who clearly believe that and they are looking for a game that caters to that I get it but cues or or more specifically needing to cues are not one needing of those to things. sit outside <laughs> of the in, of the instance you want to run wait, spamming looking for group now I will give um I will give Tor credit in that at least their their Q spamming or, or their 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 dun- like sitting outside the dungeon. Yeah, everything was a hub. It was from the it fleet. was yeah, it was all a hub in the fleet. So it wasn't like you had to go to a separate planet with a with a separate group of people in the chat system. Like at least it was set up so that everyone who was inside the city could, would see the looking for group for the dungeons and then could get. They could uh, join the groups for the dungeons there. Like I'll give them credit for that at least, but that kind of system is not like it. It's not fun, you know. It's not a casualization thing. It's a time saver thing. Yeah, it's just one of those things even, where like. Even for, like, hardcore players, you're like, yeah, okay, you can keep the dungeon and then just go back to doing whatever you were doing. Yeah. Like, your your quests or whatever. Yeah, it is. Yeah, the queue system, the, the, when they added the group finder, that was nice. Yes, I, I agree. Mm-hmm. And they have one now, so they fixed it. But it was just, at launch, it's like, it's 2012, guys. Don't, don't try to do something EverQuest got right, uh, like, five years ago. Yeah. To be fair, I don't know if EverQuest actually did add a queue system ever, because I haven't played EverQuest in about a decade. So. Yeah, I haven't ever actually played EverQuest. <gasps> it actually popped! It actually yeah. popped! Yay. Oh, man! Hopefully we'll get all our... Oh, yep, we got all our players. Okay, now I have to remember I actually how to do this. Yeah, so this one is a little bit more involved, but uh, I... Considering how well we handled the other normals, we should probably be able to deal with this one very quickly. Go to yes, the fire. Kind of oh wait, it's this Gear stage. Thing, right? Yeah, it's the. Um... All right. Basically, we're trying to commit regicide and, uh, against the Borg. Yep. All right. So first step, we need. Okay. So now someone has a ship name that you should be having. Oh, the White Star. Yeah, but the Warlock is using even Nova's ship once she left Babylon 5. Do they write books or something about her after? No, I think it's mentioned actually in the series. Like after. Oh, okay. I couldn't remember. It's been so long. I want to I see that again. It was a really good show. 
Yeah, it was. Okay, setting to intercept. My usual default against Borg, because I hate you plasma torpedoes. <laughs> it's actually not a bad idea. Okay, so yeah, so first stage, just blow up a whole bunch of Borg. Bring the rain. A whole bunch of Borg. Okay, so the first the first optional looks like it's been changed. Uh, defeat all the guards before time runs out. And considering the way things are going, that shouldn't be too difficult. Okay, so getting trapped in a bunch in the middle of a bunch of cubes as they explode. Not bad. yeah, not a a good idea. I'm, I'm sure that does. We're we doing greed or need on these. Oh, uh, I sorry, I've just been doing need on everything. Yeah, because. That's one thing Tor... That's, that, this isn't like a developer thing to work me anything. In Tor, people, at least when I last played, they tended to do, like, not actually needing unless you need it. Here's just, like, you do need always because it's very rare that gear will drop that you really need. Yeah. Yeah, I actually stopped using drop gear and just used my orange gear and kept upgrading the add-on. Which was better in almost every yeah. respect. Yeah. Well, um, this one at least though does have a, a. It's more challenging in the sense that there are a lot more of these ships, uh, and we seem to just be diving right in instead of trying to do it uh, in a more tactical manner. Although, yeah, I guess these, these spheres and such are kind of going down pretty fast. Spheres are, cubes are. Yeah, the cubes are going down fairly, fairly quickly. fairly fast now. Yeah. I just have the misfortune of being close to a lot of exploding spheres on a couple of occasions. Yeah. Also, I have kind of a weird feeling that some of these uh, uh, core explosions are hitting a little further than you would you would normally think. Because I've been taking a, a very heavy amounts of damage from something which is kind of obviously a, a core explosion. But I've been really far away from any exploding ships. Although I'll admit that maybe it's a, a lag issue. Maybe. And, you know, it's just the, the game disagreeing with where I think my ship is. Speaking of lag issues, shouldn't we have gotten the optional complete here? Oh, there it goes. Uh, there, yeah, there was one ship just around the corner. Ah. Alright, so what we've got here now is, uh, yeah, these are basically two colony lasers. Um, mm -hmm. Oh, no. God. Yeah, this is the part I hate. Not the Odyssey class. Oh, no. No. We already never Not used Odyssey, guy. guy, I don't know. Yeah, the, and the firing arc on the, uh, these colony lasers are also kind of weird. Like, you, you, in fact, you could you could tell um, from like just from that video uh, from the uh, cutscene, like one of those lasers fired at a like, almost ninety degree angle. Mm -hmm. All right, yeah. So the second optional here: uh, keep at least three players alive. So we need to just make sure that uh, folks don't get completely obliterated by the. Uh, Colony lasers. Which, with the way we're burning this one down, doesn't look like it'll ah, be. 
Oh, whoops. Just as well, about, just as about to hit my engine. As long as no one else power. dies, we'll be fine. So I'm about to hit my engineering power. Darn it! He's getting close. Uh, all right, we're in combat. I can't use maximum speed. Oh well. <laughs> Now I can. All right, that should uh, help dramatically. Mm -hmm. We've only got oh, because someone else. I guess that's why someone else was shooting at the other one. Huh? Someone else was shooting at the what? other one. I was shooting at him. I, yeah, well, I was. I've been just kind of spamming uh, fire. Okay. okay. All right, so now we just need to defeat the uh, the kill the boar queen. The boar queen and make sure that at least at all times at least one player is still up. Isn't she sure of herself? No. Well, she's a strong, assertive woman. What do you expect? Yep. Yeah, and the, uh... She's a strong, assertive woman who fell in love with Data. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> and the octahedron is actually about as tanky here as it is in Borg Disconnected. Yeah, but there's no not two other dreadnoughts. That's true. Once you got to this point, it's really your only target. Okay, let's move away does. from the core explosion. Yeah, let's try to not be near that. Lee dead! No, she comes back. I know, but I like snarking yeah, at I like snarking at back her anyway. Disconnected. It's a thing. Scan for escape pods. Oh, for Debak. Nice. Uh, and thankfully, most of Devox crew uh, made it. So, um, yay! Yay! <laughs> and now the Borg Queen's dead. I'm sure we'll never see her again. Yep, which is a, totally which is dead. A, yeah, which is a funny thing to say because no, I mean us, <laughs> like us physically, because that's I think that's the last mission we have with her. Uh, yes, for now, actually. Unless there's a ground mission where you have to fight her. Too. No, the. I was uh, surprised one that they, they're making an SCF for you to fight with the Borg and the Iconians. <laughs> it sounds yeah, like something Trump would do. There was actually some. Wait, really? There was some uh, hinting that I saw not that long ago that was kind of suggesting a Borg return, but uh, we'll have to see what that uh, ends up being. Eh, maybe when the next movie comes out. Yeah, who knows? Yeah, uh, if that ever ends up being made. Although, like at the same time, they haven't really done much with the last two movies, so... Mm. Yeah. I'm sure there's some kind of big push release to kind of drum up interest. I, keep, Plus I the... keep saying they really need to have the vengeance. If, like, if they're not going to make... Oh, I'm just saying, like, the... Yeah. If they're not going to make a Tier 6 or a Tier 5 Constitution class, like, of the original one... Then, like, come on! Like, the vengeance is the perfect opportunity. Yeah. But yeah, next next year's also the That'd 50th tiny, anniversary but... of the whole franchise, so I'm sure they'll do but, something. Yeah. But I don't know if they'll be able to get the rights on Paramount, even though. That's, yeah, that's the biggest issue. Like, the yes, they've gotten the rights for a lot of the other things, but the the split between Paramount and CBS for what uh, they're allowed to have, like, that's always been causing them a lot of trouble. So bizarre. Yeah, like you think it'd be funny that the same company owns both Paramount and CBS through a shell company. So, yeah, I, I don't know why it's so weird, but it is, and that's 
IP IP is... rights are weird as hell and stupid. Yeah, but yeah, so that'll be it for us for this week. Um, uh, I'd like to thank everyone for watching, and we hope to see you all next time. Bye, everybody. Have a good night. <laughs>